Hello YouTube, Computer Kid 1416 here, and today we're going to be looking at this. Mike is about to win this for work group 3.11. This is the more professional version of Microsoft Windows version 3.1, which is actually more popular for some reason. And yeah, um, this is part of my new series called A Look At, where we look at stuff, both old and new, and mostly old. And my cat likes this box for some reason. Okay, so, yeah, let's get started. This is actually look at the box itself. Here it is. Sorry, got the camera kind of close. Faster than when Windows version 3.1. If you look up here, it says, I don't know why it's blurry, but, um, it says, Package contains 3.5 inch high density discs and a coupon for 5.25 high density and low density and 3.5 low density discs. And then there's the window symbol. I actually like that better than the old one, but you know, I like the new one, okay. So, Windows 3.1 on built in networking. There it is. Pretty cool. Look on the side here, there's the same thing. Then right here it's this operating system, version 3.11. Don't know why it's blurry, it shouldn't be zoomed out all the way. So it's a good certificate of all sense. All sense. What? Oh, I can't talk to Authentic key? Oh, I can't pronounce that, sorry. Okay. And then the little window seal thing. Um, let me read that. It says. This hologram and sticker are your assurance of legitimate software and the quality of your ex expect. F Sorry, I can't talk to that. And the quality you expect from Microsoft. If you believe that this product may be counterfeit, call the Microsoft pri Privacy Hotline at 1 800 or you leave it. It's kind of funny. Outside the United States and Canada, contact your local Microsoft. So, so, so. so. Yeah. Pretty much it. 432 bit networking. This operating system itself is 16 bit. It says the graphical power. I'm not going to read all that. It's just basically stuff saying Microsoft is easier to use and all that stuff. There's a picture of it. Kind of. And yeah, all that stuff. System requirements, interesting. Okay. Memus DOS version 3.3 later. Yeah, it wasn't until Windows 98, I think, when you could install it with that MS DOS. Personal computer, super mega, three megabytes of RAM. Wow, it's low. One 3.5 inch high density disk drive, hard disk 2.5 megabytes, VGA, fast compatibility, Microsoft mouse, optional stuff, Microsoft mouse, pointing device. Hayes, compatible modem, or compatible modem, audio board, and CD-ROM drive. It's just optional now. CD-ROMs weren't, weren't required until, um, well, they were, yeah, they weren't required till. I don't think the Windows 98 was released on a floppy. I don't think it was. Okay, so, let's actually open the box. No, this is not an unboxing since you see it's already been opened. This is just a look at. It's already been opened. There are the floppies. Now, it doesn't come in a bag like this, but the packaging it came in was... I had to rip up to open it, so let's put it in here for now. There are eight of them. Only six are required to install it, but the other two are for, like, installing drivers and stuff. Okay. Just that. Here's this, um, what is this? Compatibility list and driver library. It's pretty interesting. I'll read that later. It just got kind of crumpled somehow, but basically just Q&A. Okay. This is the, um, let me see how many pages this is, um, the 177 page, um, quick start guide, 
I don't know how a quick start guide is that much, but it's not a quick start guide, but same thing as a quick start guide. Okay, this is the cool part. Frontier Dress is the most important person at Microsoft. It should be Bill Gates. So do we. The registration card. I'm just send this in sometimes, see what happens. Work smarter. This is coupons. Now, this is the actual manual. The actual user's guide. This is 299, basically 300 pages long. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Compared to like 15 pages on the Windows 7 manual. And, like, yeah, this obviously doesn't come with it. This is just a backup I made of it. In case the floppy disk ever go, um, what's the word for it? Like, loser magnetic or whatever. So, yeah, I just made that myself. I have a backup. And then what's this? I made an MS DOS CD. Yeah, and, yeah, that's it. I did not have it here because, yeah, it's, I didn't want to show you it. It's, there's another thing. It's a, um, like a little thing that shows you your registration number and then a bunch of safety stuff. But, so, yeah. So, yeah, and then, so now I'm going to show you. It's starting to look like we're going to have to cut off here. But in part two, I'm going to be showing you. Um, the computer's perspective of the operating system. So yeah, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe and yeah, thanks.